Good Monday morning, everybody. A Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich here. I know it feels like winter has arrived, and it has. In some sense, this is the coldest air of the entire season moving in this week. In fact, not only the coldest air of the season, but this would be pretty cold even by winter standards, let alone November. Let's get right to the details. You can see over the eastern U.S., high and dry right now. We've got high pressure and control, but boy, it's a cool Canadian high pressure, and it's really chilling us off. In fact, the first 13 days of November were the warmest on record for Charlotte for the first 13 days. In fact, warmer than the entire month of October. So that's making it feel even cooler than it actually is out there. Temperatures today are gonna to be below average. This is the system we're watching for tomorrow. That's gonna to bring us a miserable cold rain for most folks, but maybe winter weather, probably not maybe, definitely winter weather for the North Carolina mountains. Let me pause this real quickly. And I wanna show you the temperatures because I think the temperatures are gonna tell the story. We're gonna pop up the temperatures across the Eastern half of the country. You can see how cold it is. Those are the dew points. Let's put the air temperatures on. You can see temperatures right now, basically in the 30s and 40s. It is frigid out there right now. Currently in the mid 40s in Charlotte. We woke up to 29 this morning, so a good freeze. Look at all the cold air to our north. So as this system approaches from the west, it's going to have cold air in place, just not cold enough for wintry weather for everybody. This is the system that will be heading our way for Tuesday and Wednesday that's going to reinforce the cold air because once it moves through it'll bring even colder air behind it keeping temperatures cold this week so let's take a look at that future cast all right let's get to the short range future cast show you that system heading our way now the, the blue lines are what we call equal lines of pressure they're called isobars I wanted to show you those because there is a little bit of what we call a cold air damming setup in this regime we'll go into tonight um, there's high pressure that's going to be parked right here it's not in the perfect spot, but it is supplying cool, dry air to surface. Warm, humid air is trying to rise up and over it ahead of our system, which is this low pressure right here, which you can see over Oklahoma. So as we go through tonight, we're likely going to see rain develop after midnight, I would primarily think. I think this first batch is going to have a tough time reaching the ground. So into the overnight hours, you notice the precipitation starts to fall in the form of rain. It'll be a cold, miserable rain. Temperature is probably falling into the mid and upper 30s. Even in the mountains, this is likely going to start as a little bit of rain before it transitions to freezing rain or ice. Again, this is the icy mess for the mountains. You see the, 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 the pink or the, in this case, the red showing up. That's ice tomorrow morning. So that's going to be a slick morning in the mountains. This is just a miserable cold rain for the Piedmont. I mean, temperatures are going to struggle to get out of the 40s tomorrow. So it'll feel like it could snow, but it won't be cold enough for snow or ice. It'll just be too... Too warm from a uh, freezing point standpoint, not too warm for us as far as humans. So icy in the mountains, but even a lot of rain there. The snow in the mountains is going to be on the backside of this. So once this system pushes through, a northwest flow is going to develop on the backside of this low. And that's going to drive in the colder air. It's also going to drive in what we call northwest flow snow. For the mountains, this could be a nice little burst of northwest flow snow because we'll have a combination of not only picking up some moisture from the Great Lakes, but there's actually a little disturbance here in some of its own snow. So it's a combo we call synoptic and northwest flow kind of working together here to help us out. This is a good setup for a good burst of snow in the North Carolina mountains. So we go through the middle of the week. You can see this thing swings down here. This will be a nice little setup of snow um, going through the middle of the week. As far as amounts in the mountains um, right now, this is only through the next three days. You'll, you only see maybe a trace to an inch. And again, a lot of this will be ice. So it's going to be more of an icy mess before it pushes out and then we'll see a better chance of snow on the back side that's as we go later later into the week and i'll show you the um the, the forecast here uh, in the short range first we'll go through wednesday thursday and i'll stop it right there on friday morning you can see a little bit of northwest flow snow on the back side so not all bad now there's all these rumors people hit me up on facebook uh, instagram so, oh my gosh um, all the apps are showing snow for the weekend there's no snow guys i i, I tell this every winter you got you got to ignore the apps. The apps are complete garbage. There's no snow in the forecast for the weekend. Um, there's really nothing even remotely close to it. Um, but I'll show you what it looks like going through the weekend. All right, so we'll go a little further in the future to kind of squelch all the snow rumors, which spread every time something shows up in one of the uh, national apps. Um, this is the system for today and to or tonight and tomorrow. Uh, we'll go towards the end of the week. Cold air, definitely going to be a cold weekend. We've got cold high pressure over most of the U.S. That's going to be taking over lots of lake effect snow. Oops, I don't hit the button right there. Um, we'll go into uh, Friday, Friday afternoon. Big old area of high pressure, guys. There's no precipitation <laughs> anywhere near us. We'll go through the weekend. Uh, there's nothing 
Saturday, Sunday, um, there's nothing. There's a big uh, zero. So uh, if you're wondering where that stuff comes from, and, and again, I preach this all the time, and I don't just preach this because I'm a local meteorologist. You cannot look at national apps for long-range weather information in really short range. It's automation. It's one computer model. If that app, depending on what it is, picks up on one run of one model, it's going to show something. Six hours later, it's going to go away. I appreciate when people ask me because I can kind of set them straight. But the bigger story actually is not the chance of snow anywhere outside of the mountains. It's really going to be the chance of really cold temperatures. This is the uh, outlook for temperatures for the next six to 10 days. Look at the big cold air mass over the eastern U.S. Let's go eight to 14 days in the future. Stays pretty cool, but starts to modify a little bit. Um, and just looking at temperatures, I like looking at ensembles, not single model runs. Uh, this is the European ensemble. So it shows the spread of possibilities. And then the green line is the mean. If you're wondering, the red line is the average high. The blue line is the average low. So you can see well below average temperatures between now and the weekend, both high and low temperatures. But next week, as we get close to Thanksgiving, it doesn't look super warm, but it looks like temperatures get back to maybe at or slightly above average. But remember, averages are in the mid to upper 50s next week. So upper 50s by a degree or two would be above average. And that's likely what's going to happen as we look ahead to Thanksgiving. And I'll show you the, the model blender, which kind of gives you, a, for Charlotte alone, shows you a little warmer to, uh, tomorrow, um, or on Wednesday, excuse me, behind that system, but then pretty cold through the weekend. And then next week for Thanksgiving, you see the temperatures back up at close to 60. But look at those lows this weekend, really cold temperatures this weekend. Now, as far as the long range pattern, you can see the big dip in the jet stream. I always like showing this because you see this, this is a winter pattern. This is why it's gonna be so cold this week into the weekend. Look at that. That's straight out of the Arctic. So if this was the winter time and we had a cold front, I mean that cold air mass and a storm track right here, that would be the setup for snow. We just don't have that right now. And it's very hard to get snow in November east of the mountains. You know, it only happens maybe once every couple of years and it's usually a trace. So don't look for big snows in November. It just doesn't happen. You see next week how things will modify just a little bit and begin to flatten out and we'll see things kind of get back to more typical late November weather for Thanksgiving. Now the snowfall, if you're, you're curious, I always like showing model blenders if I'm going to do long range. This is all the way through Thursday the 24th, which, uh, or Wednesday night into Thursday the 24th, which is Thanksgiving. Notice there is no snow forecast east of the mountains. The only snow in the next week and a half is going to be in the North Carolina mountains. So Stay warm out there. It's going to be a cold stretch of weather. It might feel like it's going to snow east of the mountains. It will not. If you're in the mountains, get ready. Kind of an icy Tuesday on tap up there. It will not feel great tomorrow, but it's going to be all cold rain. So bundle up, get the winter gear out, because this is straight on winter weather ahead this week.